Today, News Channel 8's Rod Carter is raising the stakes in Let Rod Do It. He joins us now with more on his latest great gig and uh, mm -hmm. raising the stakes is kind of the hint. A wee bit of a hint. Today, I was a butcher of sorts. It's funny you think that that would be a pretty simple job, you know, someone orders a steak, you just cut the meat up, throw it on the grill, no. and there you have it. Not so much. It's a lot more complicated than that. Try cutting to order when there are 550 reservations in five hours and you're working at one of the best steakhouses in country so what you do uh what you don't want to do i should say is make a mistake it's who they are so much so it's in the name when you go to the elegant and historic burn steakhouse in south tampa you know you're in for an amazing meal but before that steak hits the grill well, here comes the fun part these guys get the meat ready. I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna cut this chine bone on the saw so that way you don't have to worry about doing that. Everything is cut to order, and today, first thing we're gonna do, it's my turn to learn how to do that. Sure. Give sure. you a dollar if you don't hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. A joke because the knives are super sharp, and it does take a skilled hand. There you go. All right, don't go all the way through okay. it though. Okay. Each slab is split and the fat is pulled away. And if you need to, you can always come back in here and keep that blade away from me. Yeah. But see how we're starting to pull? I'm trying not to pull a muscle separating the fat from this one. All right, fantastic, my friend. You're good to go. I'm all done? Yes, sir. I survived. Look. Rock and roll. Oh, hey, all my fingers are still here. But really, it's only the beginning. Take your tip, tip off and what you think is two sevens because you're going to add a side strap back to the it. The other job begins, cutting all of those steaks to order. Tickets come in, each piece is cut, and then weighed. All right, so it's a little over. Is that okay? And the toothpick is placed on the meat. The color of that toothpick determines how well you want it cooked. All right, let's do that one more time. Sorry. Rare. Rare. Medium rare. Medium rare. Medium rare. Medium well. Medium well, well, well done. done. Head chef Hab Hamdi told me that everything has to be just right. We were a lot more in serving the quality, the best quality, USDA prime. He's been here for two decades and has to make sure that the steak is something people will never forget, no matter how many times they come in to eat it. If you want the customer to come back, uh, you have to get it right. You have to serve quality, and uh, you have to have uh, the quality assurance. And thankfully, you were doing very good working back there. I didn't do too bad or get cut on the job. There was, of course, a lot at stake. <laughs> He's like that joke. So I want to be clear and show you a couple of things. All fingers, all still intact. However, there were some uh, very dicey moments. See what I did there? Oh, you know, all jokes aside, uh, that was a very interesting job, and I apologize. My jokes were not well done. Um, but I will certainly be a hit at the next family barbecue, and I have to grill up some steaks, I can tell you that. Wow. Um, well there, well left done. you with nothing to say I, there, Yeah, I? I'm almost speechless. I, I was curious, though. I watched all those people. We, we have a young man who works for us now who used to mm -hmm. work at Burns. Um, and, and I know some of these folks, I, I mean, they invest a lot of time there. Did you find yeah. that there are folks that have been there for a really long time? They make that their, their career? All of those guys in the kitchen have been there for a very long time. You know, Burns has been open since 1956, so a lot of the people that you saw there cutting a lot of that beef have actually worked there for a decade or two. Side note, I did not... I want to look clear into the camera and say this. I did not work in the dessert room. Oh, man. It's probably a good thing. They may have had to roll me right up out of there, though. But now we have another story you can do. I think you need to go work in the dessert room. I like this idea. Right. I like the way you think. Thank you, Rod.